you know, when choosing a doctor for any sort of plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery procedure, one of the most important things is to look at someone's certifications. Um, and the certifications are easily checked online. In the United States, the only specialty which does cosmetic surgery, plastic surgery, is plastic surgeons. And the governing board is the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. And you can easily go on their website um, and, and look up the type in the doctor's first and last name and it'll tell you if they're they're board certified in plastic surgery because of that You know, there's a lot of a lot of other specialties that dabble in cosmetic surgery, but that's not their their training so You know someone who, who covers everything is definitely a, a board certified plastic surgeon You know, there are other things such as facial plastic surgeons, which are offshoots of ear nose and throat doctors There are ophthalmic plastic surgeons that do you know specialize just in plastic surgery of the eyes you know those are more focused specialized um, subspecialties but in all honesty the only people um, that are trained to do liposuction in our training are plastic surgeons and believe it or not dermatologists um, dermatologists actually do a lot of liposuction during their training also but um, you know so those are the only ways that you can really you know check someone's credentials just because somebody's doing the procedure doesn't necessarily mean that they're capable of doing it correctly, um, regardless of what what type of doctor that they are. You know, you can go out there and take a, a weekend course, and by law, um, you know, other specialties besides plastic surgeons can can set up shop and do, you know, liposuction. A lot of these doctors do it without anesthesia because they can't get hospital privileges in, in liposuction. But you know, the main group of surgeons which are trained specifically in aesthetic plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, are plastic surgeons. The risk of doing anything is, is I mean, what are the potential complications of the procedure? Um, you know, it could be death. It could be, you know, a bad result. Um, you know, you're spending time and, and money and, and, you know, risking your life to have a procedure. If you don't want to have any risk for an operation, don't have any surgery done. But if you're putting your hands in, in the life of somebody, you want it to be someone who's, who's certified in that field and who's able to handle any complications of that field. Because, you know, no surgery is without any potential complication. And part of being a, a plastic surgeon is not only can we perform the procedure and that's our training, but God forbid that there's any complication during the procedure, we're trained to, to handle it. If you go to somebody for something that they're not trained in, such as liposuction, and there's a complication, and then they can't handle the, any issue that can happen, that's not being a good doctor. I mean, that's putting yourself as a patient at, at risk.